How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we are working on the NC Miata. So if you guys remember a while back, um, a long time ago actually, like two years now, I took out my NC 2.0 engine and put in the 2.5. So I sold the 2.0 engine to a local guy who works with a company. I think he actually created the company. It's called Touchstone Racing. And they've been racing their NA through different racing series. And they've got an NC that my old 2.0 is actually going into. And we've kept in contact and he actually built these parts and sent them out to me to try out and install on the Miata. So um, all the links to this product are gonna be in the description below. It is Touchstone Racing. And if you're interested in these parts, you can order them directly through them. So what we have is a Brake Master Brake Booster Cylinder Stopper. So this is a custom made, painted and everything, uh, Brake Master Cylinder Stopper. It's got the little adjuster and little stopper on the end. Um, but this bolts into your strut top um, two bolts should go in pretty easy and it will secure your brake master cylinder and your brake booster to provide a better braking experience a little bit more confident braking less movement and I've seen these a lot on Yahoo Auction Japan but they're always for the right hand drive models so this as far as I know is one of the first ones I've seen for the left hand drive US spec uh, models of NC's and it's a really well-made piece. It's welded nicely. It's very sturdy. It's made with thick gauge metal and Hardware is really nice as well. It looks like it's coated in something so it shouldn't rust or anything like that But this is what we're gonna be installing today They also sent me a couple stickers. So there it is touchstone racing They don't have an online shop, but you can order them through their Facebook page So go down below in the description and check out the Touchstone Racing Facebook page. Hit them up if you want one of these. They're still kind of in production. I haven't seen them on their website yet, or at least on the Facebook page, but um, they are producing them, and this is kind of where it'll go. So your brake master cylinder is right there, and this is basically going to fit right here, and it's gonna to touch this little metal portion right there on the brake master cylinder. And I did a little test, and it does flex. So I'm gonna show the video right now. So you can actually see the brake master cylinder flex. So if you're under hard braking, there's just that little variance of a give in your braking force. And this is gonna really benefit track people mostly if you have a daily driver. Probably not gonna do too much as far as anything you'll notice, but if you're out there braking really hard, slamming on the brakes, things do flex a little bit. It's important to keep everything sturdy, keep everything stiff. You'll get the most brake pedal feel if everything is braced, like with this uh, master cylinder stopper. All we're gonna have to do today is take off the strut top brace, at least on one half of the engine, install our new part, adjust it to where it is firm up against the brake master cylinder, and then reinstall everything and we should be good to go. So let's just get straight into it.
right guys, and here it is. Here's the Touchstone Racing Brake Master Cylinder Brace. I did a little test just now, as you guys saw a second ago, and it definitely doesn't move at all. In that first little clip, you can see it flexing just a little bit, um, but this gets rid of all of that. So it's a really nice quality, fits up very nicely, nice and tight. It fits with your factory strut bar. I don't know if it will fit with aftermarket, but I know it fits with the factory because that's what we put it on right here. So it's very subtle, nice little addition um, and very happy with it. Can't wait to test it out, out on the road, on the track, but time will tell. But I think this is a good solution for bracing the brake master cylinder definitely works. You can see in the clips that it definitely gets rid of any movement in the master cylinder. And yeah, so like I said, links in the description. So yeah, as I said, I'm excited to get out and give this a shot, try it out, try it out on the track and things like that. All the more of an excuse to get out there and drive the car again. Um, my last track day video was a while ago and I've been dying to get back out. Obviously you guys know some things have been going on with the car and I've had to do some fixes and things like that, but think we're ready. As far as the VVT goes, I'm pretty sure I've got it fixed. Car feels great. Haven't had any check engine lights. I just need to go get it inspected and things like that. But as I said, Touchstone Racing, check them out. Their Facebook link is below. If you want to order this piece, make sure you go contact them and they can set you up. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some new inspiration for your NC Miata. If you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.